All right, let's do some Animal Crossing. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Probably more fishing. That's the plan. Except maybe in a money earning sense, I don't know. We'll see. No big news, okay. Oh. I sent all DIY recipes app users the recipe for an outdoor picnic set. Okay. Well, that's nice. I have stuff to sell right away. Um, I just wanted to make sure to, I want to thank you. They say I've been trying to get KK to notice the island so he'll come perform here, Toasty. I'm grateful to you for trying to make this happen. Between you and me, I think I might be the biggest KK fan on the island. I really want to promote- I really want to help you promote our island as a concert tour stop for KK if I can. How about this? You stay ready for me to hand over anything I come across that seems like it could be useful to you. Yeah, unfortunately, hands were full. This coffee machine. That was an easy one. I just love how something like garbage can is in limited supply. I suppose that's the other thing, it's like I'm kind of out of room, I shouldn't buy more. That's fine. Ah! What have I done? Still not used to this time zone shift. It does make things a little trickier now. I don't know. Daylight like savings can go. I've got to keep talking to you. Okay, that's fine. Oh, 
Oh, it's sports stuff. I should probably preemptively get that. So then I have something that's like a Christmassy later. I'll just <laughs> ditch the hat. Then I don't have to keep looking for that later. It's not that far away. Yes. <laughs> Law coffee. It's fine. I'll get the tables later. It's more of an outdoor one, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. Excuse me. Oh my god. Can I make my pi- I think I can make my pirate clown. Although this- <laughs> Would he wear it? Hang on. I'm gonna try and do it. Well, I, I don't really have a choice here, so... I guess in the meantime... As annoying as this is... of a choice until I get more storage. <laughs> Hanging socks on the wall. I can hang shoes on the wall. Okay. Oh, you can do that. Huh. Uh, sure. Just looks like I'm trying to run a store in in the bedroom. Hmm. 
mannequin. I guess this this can be my mannequin. <laughs> I I guess. I need to get more storage. This is not much of a better choice. I want my pirate clown. It's gonna happen. the one. Please, please tell me this is something I can gift now. Top of the evening to you. No, come on. There's no like spring on Shambloni, I'm just basking in it. Oh, you got my attention, what's up? When can I gift you stuff? Have you seen that shady boat anchored off the moon shore? Kind of gives me the creeps. Oh, wait, it's here today? Let's chat. Maybe there's just a certain point laid on me. You always make a wish when you see a falling star, right? Because I sure do, and I'll tell you what I wish for. I always wish for more kindness and patience in the world. What? You expect me to say something like I wish I had a gold-plated cotton swab? Well, I wish for that too, okay? Yeah, I'm incredibly jealous of your space, Parker. No. Okay, good. Yeah, you're not having it. I guess I just have to wait until I can gift him the pirate outfit. He's here. Okay. New Horizons Arts Guide. Isn't my favorite cousin. Glad to have you back aboard Jolly Red's treasure after all. Oh, store policy, I know. You know it. Limit of one piece per day. There's an outdoor tap. This is just nice for decoration purposes. Okay, uh... Just wanna see if we got some always genuine ones first. Okay. 
closer look. I think this is the real one. Alright. I started with that one because that one felt the most legit. Just looking at it already. I mean, there might be another legit one, but it's all good. I don't know. This needs to turn up more often. There's just nowhere near finishing this. Fossils first. to look at this flower diagram again. I know I saved the image. There it is. move some. This is a very complicated thing. But okay, so that's done. Heard it, where is it? Ah. So I need to move. This one over here. Mm. 
And this one over here. Okay. <laughs> it's complicated, but I think I got it. The others are kind of left over, so I guess I can sell them. Important thing, at least the process has started. on. May as well do this. I'm tempted to take out the rocks and then it's not just all the way back here. And try and get it to move somewhere else. fish. Squid. Ah, eh, that's doable. Oh, these are ready. The problem I have is storage still. But at least... It looks like there's a good mix of them. Yeah, I need to get the house upgrade. about these later.
Okay. Uh, two more fossils. One more fossil. I gotta see who's crafting today. Not you. I am so, so happy you came. What is it? I play my tunes really, really loud on my wooden block stereo, and it totes makes me lose myself in music. It's so seriously the best, until the neighbors complain. I could gift her something, but I can't gift the clown something. I guess I have to keep talking to the clown, and then eventually it'll be an option. You're not crafting. Hey, thanks for coming to visit me. Why don't you hang out for a while? I think it's when I'm visiting their house. Okay, that makes sense. I like to mix it up and do different stuff on my walks every day. Gotta keep the bugs guessing. Where's Stu? It could be anywhere. You're crafting. You're not. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't feel guilty about that. And there we go. All right. Well, need something? What you up to? You're not going to believe it, but I made a spooky lantern. I was out jogging the other day, and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been dehydration. Either way, check it out. And stay hydrated. Building it was like a hard workout routine, and you know I'm all about sharing my routines. So what do you say? You want to get built making yourself a spooky lantern? Go for it. Well, I could, or I could give you this paper that I wrote the recipe on. I vote for paper. Just so you know, you're going to need pumpkins aplenty for that, so I'd get to growing some if I were you. You still sleep in a sleeping bag. I thought for sure by now it would have its own bed. More than one. Okay. Good. I've been getting a lot of duplicates lately, so this is nice. Oh wow, all of them are. Okay, Diplo Pelvis. 
Could it be? It's his. A Diplo pelvis. I never thought I'd lay my eyes on a such a well preserved pelvis. Go for it. Good old Diplodocus, what would we do without you? The stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all extraordinary neck. Did you know that the center of its gravity was such that sitting up on its hind legs was probably e easy? What's more, paired with its long neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. Best of all, Diplodocus probably grew its entire life, having no adult size. Would that were would that we were all so gifted? Another hot item one. Okay. Uh, Animal Crossing, thank god. Yeah, not for long though. I'm just doing the daily stuff. But hey, Mr. Sam. Plessio. Mammoth. I'll play some duplicates outside and then eventually one of them I'll use as a decoration. Mammoth probably isn't a bad one to have. I'll finish one of these off. I just don't have any storage at home right now. One of these will be finished. Not there. I have one in storage already. I can't remember which one. You watched a YouTube video of a food blog and a YouTube mom was making flatbread on a pan and then an open flame barehanded. Yep. That's, uh, that's a very old school way of doing it. Cute tea table. I guess I don't really... Sure. Like, I'm out of storage space, so I guess that'll just go here for now. This is my- this was like my t wait, my cooking adventure fails? I didn't fail at the cooking, I just didn't like the request that was made upon me to do things with my bare hands, but I still succeeded ultimately. Can't say I've ever ruined something. I've been alright at cooking. I haven't had something that's been a unmitigated disaster. The only thing I will say that went wrong once was that I went to make a a sandwich at like almost one in the morning once and the power cord slightly got too close to the uh like it wasn't pressed it just got slightly too co too close to the actual the actual uh sandwich press part so it did maybe burn through the wire but that's not that i fucked up the food it's just 
the sandwich press did not survive. That's the worst I've had. But aside from that, nah, I'm pretty good at cooking. Eventually one of these will, will be complete. Alright. Uh, now gather fruit. I just want to do my, my daily stuff. Testing oil temperature with your tongue. I mean, I've heard some people, like, grab a little bit of spit and flick it in. I have heard that, whilst not a method I would use. I've heard people do that. Yeah, it's a bit gross, but I guess the argument is the oil would kill the bacteria anyway, but I don't know, man. Fundamentally, it's, it's basically you're still spitting in it, practically. If your mom's cooking it, whatever. Even if my mom was cooking it, I'd be like, no. But she doesn't do that. I think she just used to test it with like a little piece of onion. From memory. right there. <laughs> what month is it on my island? It's whatever it is today. Time zone's the same, date's the same. I'm not using travel, or whatever it's called. Like I, generally, if I'm gonna rewind it, I'll just rewind it to 12 hours earlier. So then I can do daytime at night. But asides from that... I stick to what day it is, more or less. Had potato chips. Well, they have potato chips for three dollars at Coles. So earlier, I drove to Coles to just get potato chips and a couple of other things, but primarily potato chips because three dollars is a, is a steal. Never thought I'd say those words, but yes. What residents have been killed since last time? Nothing. It's still the same. I think I've hit max. I wasted petrol for doing that. Not that much. Shops are just around the corner. I did get some other stuff as well. I had to get some other stuff. Is it a waste if I wanted what I wanted. A waste would be if I went to Coles and I got nothing, but there was a purpose. I needed the car to serve. It served that purpose. Therefore, did I waste petrol? I don't think so. Imagine that, just walking into Coles being like, you know what, nah, on second thought, fuck it, don't want it. 
and then just go home. You feel like croissants, but you can't be fucked going to the bakery. Yeah, that's... That's your choice. To me, it was a simple matter of... I want to eat potato chips. Not today. But at some point, I do, and... The next time I go shopping, they'll probably be back to, like, $5.50 a bag. Almost $6 a bag. And I just don't... I think that's more of a waste of money. If I needed to go to the store anyway to get some other things... I think it's fine. That's pretty much the difference we're talking about, is like almost double price. Besides, it's not like I, I drive like a gas guzzler. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, I, I take just my fancy car. I don't even know what car I, I don't I know nothing of cars, but just whatever a gas guzzler is in terms of a car. I just take that. I have no frame of reference for cars. But just, you know, picture whatever car you want to picture. One ninety per liter is a bargain. Yeah, I mean it has been above two dollars consistently lately. I'm picturing a Fiat Tipo. I have no idea what that car looks like. Again, no frame of reference when it comes to cars. I mean, I'm just, I can't be bothered looking it up, <laughs> but I'm picturing, like, is it like the car Mr. Bean used to have? Is, is that what you're picturing? Because that's all you need to say, like, Mr. Bean, like, tiny-ass car. I'm no fun. I've had a long day. So I'm sorry. I am leaned back in my gaming chair, and it's just too far to reach out to the keyboard. You understand, right? Fuck. Not this Mr. Breen, he has a British car. I don't know. I just- all I know is Mr. Bean had a tiny car. I don't know what kind of car it was, I just know that it was like small and it had it was just a two-seater it was small and uh it was i guess like a box if i'm describing it correctly it might also be a false memory but that's what i remember his car being Again. Okay. This is the KK thing. A closed lamp ball. Okay, well that's useful. You had a teddy, yeah. You know, the funny thing about that show is I remember there being a lot of episodes, but there's not. 
That's a very short, very, very short show. I have memories of it being on the air for ages, which I guess it was. It was just repeats. Your favorite show was Where's Wally? I talked about this show quite a bit recently, and and a whole lot of people knew that there was an animated version of it. And also the whole Wally versus Waldo thing. Yeah, apparently the animated show wasn't a thing everywhere. Piling junk outside the museum. Look, this this is related to intelligence. It's it's a globe and a science kit. Was, yeah, uh, one of the things I talked about was just like the absurd nature of the ad break where they would show you a picture. And then you would have to find Wally, and the thing is just this blurry as fuck image that... <laughs> I watched it on TV, but also, I also had a couple of VHS tapes of it, and... Over time, the tape degraded in quality, and it just became just near impossible. Customize fish, fish, squid. I'm not sure that show did that well. Almost done with what I wanted to do today. I need to find the money rock. This change of temperatures kind of got me messed up a little. It went from like, oh, this is summer now, to back to winter. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? Enjoying your break? It's just been raining here all week. That's all it's been. I've gone back to wearing hoodies and stuff. Doing good, how about me? I'm alright. Bit tired, but doing okay. I got potato chips that were normal price today, so I can't complain. <laughs> it's like, it's a highlight of a day when I can get potato chips that were the same price as what they were like two years ago. Well, I say normal price, like, Potato chips now that cost a minimum of five dollars, five fifty on average. So they were on quote sale today for three dollars, which is what I used to buy them at a normal price last year. A sale would be like they were two fifty. Yeah, 
don't know. I don't believe this inflation thing would cause that. And they try to make it sound like there's a potato shortage or something. I don't know. But... Everyone I talk to seems to say the same thing. Like, potato chips have gone up in price, so... Is it really that on a worldwide basis, potatoes are in the shortage? I don't know. But, next time I want to eat potato chips, I have some. It's not that I wanted some today. It's probably the oldest I've, I've, I've felt. It's like, oh, there's a catalog. Oh, potato chips are on special. All right. <laughs> Let's... Did I rob the store and got all the potato chips? I got four bags, so... Like... Four times I want to eat potato chips, I have it, and that should last me a few months. That is a lot. It is, but the alternative is paying five fifty a bag. And they have a long shelf life, so... Yeah, I'm fine with it. It's not like I'm going to eat all four bags in the next week or something. We're talking about, I, I, like, if I really want to rush it, maybe the next two months. But to be honest, I'll probably have it until the end of the year. But they're good. They're good chips. like a kettle cooked spicy salty jalapeno potato chip it's great just straight up chili flavor those are my go-to jalapeno Mr. Ham, the ones I got specifically are the kettle chili chips. Those are my favorite ones. Not the sour, the sweet chili ones, but just chili chili. Do I eat the whole bag when it's open? Can never say something later. It depends. Last time I ate some, um, when I was playing Pokemon and just grinding the Elite Four, I had less than half the bag, and then I had some later, like, the next day. So I'm capable of doing that. But if I'm watching a movie or something, that bag disappears. do one round of fishing and then that would be it for today. For Animal Crossing at least. I've done so much fishing the past few days that I've played this I just don't want to do it for too long. I went through almost 200 pieces of bait to catch one fish. It was not fun. That's why you only get small bags. Well, I suppose if it's a small bag, then it's easier to eat the whole bag. Let's see. I'm talking about, I guess, 180 grams, which is like... How much is that to ounces? It's like 6.3 ounces.
It just depends how hungry I am. <laughs> Still not the same as. I can't believe how much of a luxury potato chips have become. Even French cheese is cheaper. I know, like, lately I've been getting cheese and crackers. And, like, some kind of deli meat that's... It just... Not only do you get more, so you get more servings of it, but it's just... Cheaper. Somehow. I just don't... I just don't get it. Gria, Conte, all cheaper than chips. Yep. The Culls, where I, uh, I go to, they've expanded their cheese section, and that, that pretty much shows it. It's just... They have two extra displays of cheese now. I never thought I'd see the day, because I always considered, I guess, those cheese platters just too fancy for me. It's not the sort of thing I grew up on, let's put it that way. The first time I saw one of those was in my... Ooh. How old was I? I'm trying to remember. It would have been on the edge of, like, 19 and 20. So I was an adult at that point. But I had not seen one prior. It, it, it was... <laughs> it was at a wedding. And, uh... Well, hold on. I went to grab some. It's like, oh, this is nice. Okay, hold on. Preoccupied. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, we can have someone move out. Okay, no, now. A cheese platter at a wedding unheard of. Yeah, well, the weddings I had been to up until that point. Because, you know, none of my friends were getting married. I was still a teenager. Um, they were generally family or family friend weddings. And so those were catered for within the family. So it was just Central American food. It was usually held at a, at a church and then they rented out the hall and that was the wedding like reception. It was, it was not an Aussie wedding, it was an older cousin, cousin? Maybe cousin, I don't know. Extended, let's just say extended family wedding that I went to. And so they actually did a proper wedding, you know, they had a, a reception at a proper place and it was catered. First catered wedding I went to. 
But I just remember, you know, getting some cheese. And then... <laughs> Not a relative of mine, but... Some guy immediately came up after me. Got a piece of cheese. And was like... Look at this! This is so fancy! And I use that voice because that's just, like, how my uncle sounds sometimes. So, the, the dude was, for all intents and purposes, like, just another uncle-like character. What is this? He asks the guy. Dude tells him the cheese. It's like, never heard of it before. Oh, it's so fancy. It was camembert. It, was just, it wasn't fancy at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. They weren't all out for this one. That's just... Some, like, I think every family has that kind of family member, you know? Whether it be an uncle, an aunt, a cousin, it doesn't matter. It wasn't that fancy cheese. Just the fact that someone was bringing it up and had it on a platter, and you can just grab it. And it was nicely cut, nicely arranged, that's what made it fancy. It was just camembert and like, uh... Oh. I can't remember the other cheese, but the soft cheese was a camembert, 100%. I'm pretty sure it's cheeses you could find at Coles. It's not like you have to go out of your way to find the cheese. Okay, so someone wants to move out, so that means I should hang around until I see the little bubble go above the one I want to move out. I'm going to try for the gorilla. And, uh... The mouse or, uh, Phil. I'm trying to imagine all the ethnic people wondering what the fuck is that cheese. Now, it wasn't like a how dare they serve it at a wedding. It was like more like... Very... Different. Like, it wasn't the family catering for the wedding, which was pretty typical. You know, all the aunts and uh, all the aunts cooking. Up until that point, that's every wedding I went to was just family catered. You know, I don't blame them. I definitely didn't laugh at them. But the story is amusing, but... You know, I kind of felt the same way the first time I got on a plane. On a on a business class flight. I just felt so fucking out of place and everything felt... Like it was... I don't know. I wouldn't say fancy, but just... Like, not what I was used to. Hey, you want to move out? I wonder if I can maybe make it happen just by going in and out of the store. Anyway. Even still, I did not make a cheese platter for myself. Like, just to have on just a random night, no special occasion until this year. <laughs> so. Because I sure as hell wasn't having potato chips anytime soon, so. That's what I've been driven to.
Why is it the two villages that I wanted to stay on the island are the first two that wanted to move out? Like, I have good luck at finding nice looking villages, but then... The ones that I want to move out, nope. They also had that pate stuff, which, eh. <laughs> Another fancy thing. But that one I don't care for that much. Maybe I just haven't had good pate, but... That was more of a texture thing. Damn it, I tried. I say I've had too fancy of a cheese. Like, I haven't gone out of my way to get... ...to get cheese. I still think my cheese experience has been very basic up until this point. The only, I guess, kind of fancy cheese I would have had growing up was feta, but it wasn't because... Well, I guess the primary reason was because the, there was a cheese factory close by that made it. And so to kind of offset the fact that that area kind of smelt like cheese, um, I guess you could get cheap cheese there. It really, really did smell <laughs> like feet. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's just like this foot smell. Only the foot smell follows you for a while. The, the cheese factory, like I'm, I'm talking about the cheese factory that was nearby where we used to live growing up. I was just saying the fanciest cheese I got to have ever as a kid was feta, and it wasn't because we went out of our way to buy fancy cheese, it was just like... It was because we lived near a cheese factory, <laughs> so able to get the cheese wholesale. Or, I guess not at wholesale prices, but they had a... You could just walk in and buy the cheese at that factory. And it was much, much cheaper than supermarket prices. Yeah, the sm it's a smell that I would experience pretty much on a bi-weekly basis, because, you know, my mom would take me and my brother to go shopping, and we'd walk past this cheese factory and just, for ten minutes, just that smell. That's how strong it was. The cheese factory long since closed down. I don't know where they moved to, but it no longer exists at the location that I'm talking about. That location has since become suburbia.
You get cheese from Harris Farm? What's Harris Farm? And a couple of Italian delis. I don't go to the extended delis, I'm just... Lazy, boring, plain, basic, whatever you want to call it. It's just whatever they sell at Coles or, or Woolworths. That's it. Which is, it's not bad, but it's not special or fancy or award winning. Guys don't have Harris Farm, but uh, I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen it. Maybe we do, just it might be a very niche thing, but I don't think so. I mean, it's just like as a kid when I went to Tasmania for the first time. And saw that they had Woolworths instead of Safeway, and I was like, what the fuck is Woolworths? I mean, I was a child, so I didn't say that, but, you know, just upscale it to adult. But I was confused, for sure. But now that's gone and everywhere is all worse. Tasmania had Woolworths, not Victoria. Yep. Victoria had uh, Safeway. Tasmania also had Domino's first. And for some reason, Tasmania also got a bunch of... A bunch of soft drink flavors before anywhere else in the country. I don't know why. But do you know all the, the Fanta flavors? How it just used to be orange Fanta for the longest amount of time. And then we got all these new flavors. I'd say about a year before that happened. I tried all that stuff in Tasmania. Like blue, purple, red, yellow. Particularly the purple one. I guess they wanted to start testing it on a smaller population or something, I don't know. See how they react and then roll it to the mainland. Furniture. It's fine. <laughs> I put it in a block. Alright, a couple more and then I'll start the fishing. I just want to do one lot of bait and hopefully I can get what I need to get. I mean, I, if I was smart, I'd, well, maybe not, because it would give it a smoky smell to it. In the early days of where I work, they had this, this heater. The best way I can describe it, it just looked like, like as if it was part of a jet, like a I don't know how to explain it. It's a cylinder that spat out a flame like a jet. It was a cylinder heater, but let's just go with that. 
but I used to have to take the train into work and if it rained, well, unless I had an umbrella, I would get soaked. So one day it was hot. Didn't take an umbrella in. <laughs> and when I got to the city, just downpour, like torrential. And so that was just, it looked like I went swimming in a river. And so I had to dry out my clothes and my boss had the brilliant idea of like saying, hey, use the jet heater, just put it in front of the jet heater. And so I put my stuff a little further back. A co-worker decided to put it closer because he wanted his socks dried quickly. So what ended up happening, his socks just... Just became like cardboard. I don't know how else to describe it, but... When he went to get his socks later, they were just cardboard. That thing was pretty damn powerful for what it was. I've kind of always wanted one, not gonna lie, because it just seems like that would warm up a whole house in minutes. Why was the jet heater on in hot rainy weather? Because it completely turned. It was like... It went from hot, and then it became cold. We're talking like about a 20 degree drop in temperature. Just all of a sudden. Melbourne does that. One day we had temperature that was like 40 degrees and then in a time span of 10 minutes it went down to 20. That's just a thing for here. During a certain time period of the uh, you can just shift that quickly. So you can't really prepare properly. There is no consistency. I'm just trying to think like what use case that jet heater would have had normally, because I had never seen one before like that. Like, is it really intended to heat up a house, or was it something that was fashioned as a heater? I don't know. See, I think that's that, but it's the next day. Yeah, that's normal for the next day. I mean, you gotta used to it. I don't know. At the very least, when summer hits, it's like we don't have it that bad compared to the rest of the country because we're pretty further south. Not as south as Tasmania, but south enough that the temperature it varies enough that we're a little more comfortable down here in summer. Like the last heat wave that happened, New South Wales got hit and meanwhile I'm just here nice and comfortable. So again, I'm going after the cop. Or the golden, whatever the golden fish is, I forget what it is. Okay. I'm just gonna use this set of bait because I don't want to spend an eternity on it. I'd like to finish Pikmin tonight. Wahoo! 
I'm in the rain, and one of the most pilots are from Melbourne. They're all depressed, like, British people. Wait, most pilots are from Melbourne? Damn, I didn't know that. I thought they were all from Sydney because they couldn't afford houses. And so were depressed as a result. <laughs> Sorry. There's a reason Australia's capital city is, like, halfway between Melbourne and Sydney. It's just we couldn't agree on anything. So the rest of the, rest of the country was like, Alright, you two, knock it off. Here, yeah, we'll put it in the middle. I don't know if this is going to happen. I don't know, I kind of like rain. Like, I don't find it depressing. I find it soothing. Especially if you're trying to sleep at night. It's nice ambience. a balloon. That's probably just common one. Light up flower crown. <laughs> Alright. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to uh, a music festival. seen that crown before. trying to think. The same thing over and over again. Expecting a different result. I put this on my head because I have no storage space at home.
I'll be, I'll be lucky if I find this fish. I know I should keep walking around the town because now that one of them wants to move out, that means someone wants to move out today. So as long as I keep closing the game, it should let me pick. But it doesn't happen instantly. I need to put myself in a situation where the person I want to move out is near me at all times and then I guess I force it. My residents are cute. Not all of them. The gorilla can go. The mouse can go. Those two were my starting two. And I mean, eh. The mouse just always has this look of skeptical on its face. And I don't know. I don't really like the look of the gorilla. Show you their faces. It's the easiest way to do it. I guess here. Yeah, Rocket. The three that I want to go. These two. Moose and Rocket. But then Phil. I had to grab Phil because it was the camper. And the first person that camps at your town has to be someone that stays. So it's the, these three primarily. The others, I'm fine with. I pick them. I like them. It's just these three, I guess, were either forced upon or were default. Phil just reminds me too much of Falco. Who in turn reminds me of Rivali. Phil's not the first priority. Like, the first priority would be the gorilla. Or the mouse. Either one of those two. Thought I heard another one. I want to turn the clown into either a gangster clown or a pirate clown. I have an outfit that has a medallion around its neck. I also have a pirate outfit. I just need to be able to gift them. Baby birds and tears of the kingdom and breath of the wild. Yeah, when they're babies, they're fine, but I don't know. It's just Ravali annoyed me. Like every every sentence that bird said, even when he got his ass rescued. Like I don't know, I just a dick measuring contest or him just trying to suck his own dick. That's how I felt about that character. Not an ounce of humility. The Rita area sides from that was fine. I like it. I like how the music kind of sounded mafia like. When you got to the village. Yeah. 
no need to be humble when you can fly, but the rest of them were so nice. Except for, I guess, some of the kids wanting a fancy, a fancy French fish dish. I was a little bratty. A little bit bratty. The fanciest dish I got as a kid. It was this traditional Central American dish. It's called... Come Kayate. It's, it's actually pretty good once you get your teeth into it. Describe the dish. It's kind of hard to describe the dish, but I guess if I go off its translation, um, hang on, what does it translate to? Come means eat, and callate means shut up. So I guess shut up and eat is what the dish is called. Pieces of bait left. Wow, that's, n that's not a lot of money for what I I had. Okay, there was no dish. I was just trying to be funny. It's okay. If you ever asked what something contained, like food-wise, like, oh, this is good. What is it? Or, what is it, I guess, typically? It'd be like, shut up and eat. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's food. Eat. None of this fancy French buttered fish. Like those spoilt children. Could be eggplant. Well, that definitely happened once. Oh no, there was definitely a conversation with eggplant for sure. The first time I had it, my mom thought I was making it up when I, I thought it made me feel sick. It wasn't until I was actually physically ill the second time she gave me it that she was like, okay, no, he's not making it up. He's not being difficult. There's actually something wrong here. It wasn't an allergy, so it's not like a trip to the hospital, but, you know. Instant gag reflex and just... If I ate it afterwards... Did a number on my stomach. Ow. Oh.
I'm gonna have a walk around and see if one of them wants to move out. Okay, if I'm being serious about like something that I thought was fancy, that I enjoyed as a kid, it's like this... They're effectively like mini donuts. And you dip them in a palm sugar. It's like a melted palm sugar and it becomes a syrup. Really nice. And we'd have them on special occasions, but it was something that we asked my mum for, you know. When are we having them next? They were that good. That was my memories of them as a kid. So, can't remember for whose birthday, one of my brother's birthdays, he asked for them. And my mom said, sure, no problem, it'll take like 10 minutes. And me and my other brother were like, wait, what do you mean it can take 10 minutes? It's like, yeah, I'll make them, no problem, easy. It's like, what? When we were kids, we wanted them all the time and you never wanted to make them. And my mom laughed and was just like, yeah, because the, they're just a pain in the ass to roll out. I couldn't be bothered. I was tired. <laughs> so I made you guys think there was this, like, delicacy thing that were just on a special occasion thing. I was really, I was really upset. I was, I would talk these things up all the time like they were some fancy thing as well. Just like, oh no, there's, it's like, there's a special occasion donut. And talk them up as being this amazing thing, which they are, but they're by no means as special as I thought they were. They're not like a, a special occasion only thing. Another gothic mirror. There you go. The camper can have like a, an outdoor gothic mirror. I, when I first saw this item by name, I thought it was going to be much bigger. Like, you know, Disney evil witch size. Yo, gothic? What's wrong with gothic? Not your vibe. Fair enough. not mine either, in case anyone was wondering. But I wouldn't react like, ew. I'm never going to get this fish. <laughs> it's okay, I got... I would say at least a couple months to get it. The other one I had to get because it, it was that day I had to get it, or I wouldn't get it. Until it came up the next season. Which, who knows if I'm still going to be playing this by then. 
set. Shadow's not big enough. Alright, last piece of bait. I tried. I think what I need to do, which wouldn't be a bad idea, is to just grind the pieces of bait when I'm watching TV or something. And just not play this for a couple days on stream. Amass just a bunch of bait so it doesn't feel like, you know, I'm taking ages to get the bait. And then just fish until I get it. How many presents have I gotten? Nice. Um, hmm. I might do this later. Not on stream, but just a mass bait, but also because a villager wants to move out, so it's random on who it wants to move out. And I should probably play to this now, and just see if I can get the one that I want to move out to move out. Okay. Pietro home yet? This is Pietro's house, right? Okay, at the very least, let me see if I can get the pirate clown going. <laughs> He's home. is a problem. The fact that I have to... Okay, so, you know... In case there's an accident, I have a backup pair of pants just hanging there. That's fine. That's the aesthetic. I have no, no storage space, so I have to hang clothes now. I hope he just doesn't put it on... Why can't I give you a present? <laughs> I can give it to others. Don't treat my place like your grandma's house. Put your feet up and knock things over. Just be sure to put them back exactly where you found them. I'm trying to preserve a certain aesthetic. I like the aesthetic. Ah, oh, check out my sophisticated, colorful wheel, hmm? I think you'll find my place is filled with things that make me seem mature and smart. I mean, I am mature and smart. I can't gift you anything yet. I'm gonna ask you a question that will determine the rest of your life. 
Imagine a field of blooming flowers. What color are those flowers? Oh. Well, you only give me three options. I don't know. Yellow. Alright, by answering that simple question, you'd open up a window to your soul. I'll take a peek. You want to share your talents with the whole world. Any room you're in is <laughs> the room with the party. Just like me, so am I right? Or am I right, Hong Kong? Yeah, that's it. That's why I started streaming. Damn. The clown's psychic. <laughs> I should slowly give the clown a bunch of things. Like a desk, a computer, a microphone, a switch, and just turn his room into a streaming room. That'd be great. Slowly but surely. Actually, pretty close to finishing up. Wait. I just want money to spend tomorrow. Uh. Hello. Need better music. I, d I don't know why I'm buying stuff. I don't have I don't have space. Okay, the last thing I'll do is, um... Stone Otter. Just let me see if I can find... I mean, this is the week someone wants to move out, so I, I just need to try and get myself in a position where the person I want to move out is nearby. I mean, not my first choice, but one of the choices. Just because it, I didn't get to pick. It's just like, you have no choice, you have to take Phil. Those are two good finds already. Just want to do the scallop thing. 
Oh, this is new. Sea pineapple. Is this a boss moving thing? No. Dungeonous crab. Nice. Damn. I got some stuff that's worth a little bit of money. Usually I just get seaweed. about that scalp of yours, can I have it? Sure. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. Lots of folks wish for world peace, not me. I wish for world pizza. Hard to fight when you're eating pizza. Consider yourself truth. Yep. Today is a good day. <laughs> Thank you, Stoner Otter. May as well fill up the inventory. And do one last sell. Plus I might run into something new that I haven't got. I need to go donate the sea pineapple. Oh, the pumpkins. I need to harvest the pumpkins. I forgot about the pumpkins. Is that big fish? I think that's big fish. It's probably not worth it. Ooh, careful. Mermaid fence. Probably just a sea bass. Oh, yeah. It's different. I'm 
gonna go donate. And while I'm here... That's just good timing. <laughs> Outdoor air conditioner. Alright. Random house. There you go. You get the air conditioning unit. Hey. Hey, um, I know this is like out of... Nowhere, but I want you to have this my throwback dino screen. Throwback dino screen? If you don't end up using this, it's totally fine if you give it away. I'm just glad to get it off my hands. Throwback dino screen? Oh. oh this is actually good. <laughs> Put it near the museum. Totally see this existing out of the museum. All right, Blazers. Sea pineapple. Okay, tell us about the sea pineapple. Try not to gawk as you look upon the sea pineapple. Its peculiar look is simply one of nature's many jokes. Though it may look like a half-rotten half hunk of fruit, the sea pineapple is no plant, shellfish, or even sea slug. It's a tunicate. What, what? A fancy name for a shallow water filter feeder. But tasteful plankton. It should be noted that the sea pineapple looks like a tadpole when it's young and can still swim about. Alas, its useful cuteness wears off once it attaches itself for good to a rock. Ah, but let's put insults aside. Sea pineapples are full of water, you see. And I fear we're asking for a squirt in the eye. Huh. Where did Phil go? Phil was out here somewhere. I'm gonna see what I can make with these pumpkins. Thank you. 
what else can I do? I wish I could search by ingredient. Candy. Oh, that's kind of nice. Didn't I get a recipe for candy? Oh, I may have been cooking. Damn, that's kind of nice. Holy crap, that's a good picnic set. Mermaid fencing? That's not bad either. Hang on. something does it say oh it doesn't matter Faked out. Alright, I need to store these somehow. There's gotta be something I can do. I just have too much random stuff. Okay, well, in the interest of, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, no, this, this completely makes sense what I'm doing. You know, the, those diners you go to where the ur urinals are right next to the seating. I just need more space. Uh... I can put that outside the museum. A towel rack? Sure. Doesn't really work. Um, guess maybe. Shot. Sure. <laughs> Shot. Sure.
Uh, where is the little ship? get rid of stuff. <laughs> so I have more space. I don't like this at all, but it's fine. That goes outside, outside. Okay, at the very least now. Okay, good, they can fit. Should definitely catch more of these. Security has like a spooky vibe to it. <laughs> I don't know. House upgrade will come soon, and then I won't have to store some of the stuff there. Next time I play this, I should be able to get through the remainder owed for the home loan. Might change the clock to be daytime for next time, so then there's higher odds of... Because it seems like the gorilla only walks around during the day. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for Animal Crossing for today. I've been doing a lot of fishing in it lately, so I don't feel like hitting my head against that brick wall. <laughs> but if you've uh, watched this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you enjoyed. If you want to support the channel, easiest way to do so is just by clicking that thumbs up button. Helps the channel out a lot and appreciate those that do do that. Or you can watch one of the other two videos that have popped up on your screen if you want to see me play something else. But till next time, bye YouTube.